guys welcome back to my channel so as you guys know it is prom season can you believe it oh my gosh my prom was like ages ago i feel so old i'm turning 25 this year Ugh, my birthday is coming up actually in two weeks so i'm turning 25 in two weeks and oh i can't even i can't even like take that in right now i don't want to get any older i really miss prom i miss high school oh my gosh those were like some great days without any worries so for those of you guys going to prom like take it in you know enjoy your time there because yeah you're just gonna get old and have to do adult stuff and it sucks <laughs> Anyways, I know prom can get really expensive, especially for us girls, like we have to buy a dress, shoes, jewelry, hair, makeup, our limo, and just everything um, adds up really, really quickly. So I thought I'd put together this little prom tutorial to show you guys how to do your own prom makeup. Um, and I'm gonna try to keep it to drugstore products. Majority of the products I'm gonna use in this tutorial are drugstore, just so you know it's easy on your wallet, but you can still achieve that amazing glam look that you want to achieve now as I mentioned before majority of the products are going to be drugstore but there's a few that aren't just because I didn't really have anything drugstore in that category but before I get started I just want to say please do not forget to subscribe and also the most important message is congratulations to the class of 2018 I am super proud of you guys and I hope you guys are following your dreams and achieving what you want to achieve all right let's get started so first I'm going to start off with my Visanti Liquid O2 Color Corrector. Now obviously this isn't a drugstore product, but it is my favorite color corrector ever and I've just never found anything else that can um, cover up my dark circles like this can. So yeah, I, I couldn't compromise on, on doing a drugstore product for this. I'm just going to blend this out with my Beauty Blender. Now a really good alternative to the Beauty Blender is the Real Technique sponge. Um, I don't have one on me right now, but I have used it before and I absolutely love it. So I think that would be the drugstore equivalent. So next I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is in the color Desert Beige. And I'm just going to apply this all over my face. And again, going in with the Beauty Blender, just blending this all out. I really like this foundation. I just feel like it leaves my skin looking flawless and again, super affordable. And I'm surprised they actually had like a color that was in my shade. It, it leaves my skin looking like, like nice and dewy and glowy. I don't know if you guys can see that. Now I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Creamy Beige. This is like my highlight color. Um, and I took out a lot by accident. Got on my hair. Ugh. Like, of course, of course, I would do this. What is wrong with me? Okay, let's get back to this. I put, I took out so much concealer. Oh my god. We'll make it work, though. We'll make it work. So keep in mind, this is uh, like my highlighter type of color to make my eyes look super bright and awake. Um, and I like to use this, especially when I'm going for like a really glam, like I'm going out somewhere nice and I want that really glam type of look. Um, I'll use this just to really brighten up underneath my eyes. But I use way too much because it's clearly a lot, whatever. But I really like this concealer. It has a really nice consistency. It blends out really well and just like amazing coverage. And I think it's only like five bucks or something like that. Then using my NYX Highlight and Pro palette, I'm going to use that yellowy color. I know it doesn't look too yellow on the um, camera, but I'm going to use this like yellowy color to set around my eyes. And I'm just going to push it in like this so that it really sets and not going to like like swipe it onto my eyes I just want to push it into the into my eyes just so that it actually sets really nicely and then the powder sits on top and then it'll like kind of settle into my skin after this will keep my eyes looking like nice and bright then going in with my Maybelline fit me foundation in 310 sun beige yes sun beige uh, I'm gonna use a kabuki brush and just set the rest of my face the Maybelline fit me line is actually really amazing like I would highly recommend it even their liquid foundations I love how it comes in like different formulas like if you have dry skin or if you have oily skin it has different formulas um, to fit your skin condition so it's definitely a line that I would check out if you are looking for a good drugstore um, foundation line as well 
For my brows, I'm going to use the Kiss NY Pro Top Brow Fine Precision Brow Pencil. And this is in the color Brunette. I feel like some of these like names are just so damn long. Now, I really like this brow pencil just because you can really get um, a natural looking brow with it, especially because the tip is so precise, like the actual pencil itself is really, really thin. So you can do like nice little hair strokes with it. This is again another product that I use on a regular basis. Especially when I'm like running out the house and I just need to like fill in my brows super quickly, this is the brow pencil that I use. And I'm just going in and drawing little, little lines and filling in my brows where it just needs to be filled in. I'm not going to over, over draw them. Using the other side, I'm just going to brush it out a little so that it doesn't look so intense. And then I'm just going to go in quickly and clean it up with some concealer, which I will do off camera. I just as not to waste time. Okay, so I put my brows on, they turned out way more intense than I wanted them to be, but whatever, we're just gonna work with it because this is the situation now. Um, I always feel like that's like the story of everyone's makeup life because it's like you want it to look one way and then it just does a whole other thing on its own. What can you do? Anyways, let's move on to eyeshadow. For this look, I'm going to be using the NYX Ultimate Multi Shadow Finish Palette. This one is in Warm Rust. I'll show you guys a close-up of the palette because if I show it from far, you can't really see the colors, but look how beautiful these tones are. They're nice and warm, especially great for brown skin. So I'm going to use more of the browns and golds in here rather than like the reddish orange colors just because I feel like browns and golds will go best with like majority of outfits especially with this red outfit um, like the oranges and pinks might look like too much like too much color going on so I'm going to apply this really light brown color that's here all up in my crease and like kind of blend it up towards my brow bone area this is just going to give me a really nice soft transition and nice base as well I'm just doing this using a nice big fluffy blending brush and some really good brushes i would recommend that are affordable um are from morphe if you're looking for something i guess more drugs drugstore ish um morphe has some amazing brushes that are at a great price. Next I'm going to go in with this nice warm brown and apply this in my crease as well. I'm going to concentrate it more in my crease. I'm not going to try to take it up to the brow bone and then I'm going to bring it down into my lid area and my outer corner a little bit. Using this color will give you some nice definition to your eye and it'll also give that warmth to your eye as well and create more of a smoky look. I'm actually going to take this color kind of all over my lid. Um, I'm going to concentrate it mostly in my crease and outer corner just to make that area darker and then apply the leftover all over my lid to create this nice smoky look. Finally, I'm going to take this like really nice bronzy gold and apply this all over my lid using my finger. I'm going to keep this as a very bronzy look just because I think that'll look really nice with a red dress and keeping everything to like the browns and bronzy colors will match a lot of different outfits. I also think that um, creating a nice bronzy look will look really nice for someone in that age range like between like 17 to 18 just because you'll still look glam but you won't look like crazy over the top like your cake face or anything like that. Um, you'll still look you know nice and young but, but still dolled up. Now it's time for eyeliner. This is the part that everyone hates. So I'm going to use my NYC liquid liner. A lot of you guys ask me what my favorite liquid liner is. This hands down is my favorite liner ever. Um, like luxury or drugstore, just overall, it's my favorite liquid liner. Uh, and you can't go wrong that it's like only four bucks, but it's super black and it stays all day. Um, and I just really like the applicator because it has this like fine brush tip. So. Yeah, definitely worth the money. So I'm just gonna start off in the outer corner. Create my baseline. And then flick out a wing. And you wanna use the tip of your brush to create this wing. So it creates that really thin line. 
truly can't talk while doing my eyeliner because this needs all the concentration in the world. Like I say, I'm talking. There we go. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. Usually, if I do it with one hand, it doesn't always turn out the way I want it to. Um, this time it did. And I'm pretty proud of myself. Now that my top liner is done, I'm going to go in with my lashes. These are the Kiss Lashes in Opulence. Kiss is one of my favorite lash brands. Um, their number 11s are amazing and they come in packs of five. Those are like my go-to lashes. I just think they look phenomenal on everybody and they're just so affordable. These are like their fuller lashes though. Um, I guess like they're their higher end lashes, but like not really. They're still drugstore lashes. Uh, but I absolutely love these. They just like, they, they look like you spent $30 on lashes when you didn't. I absolutely hate putting on lashes. I just find it so annoying. And I can't put them on with one hand, but I'm gonna try. Because just the way my room is set up, it's like, it's next. Like, I'm not sitting. I stand for all my tutorials. I don't know if you guys know that, but um, I just don't have enough room in my bedroom where I film um, to have like a proper setup. So yeah, I stand the whole time, surprise. Um, so yeah, I don't have like a mirror in front of me. I have to hold a mirror with one hand and I only have one hand to do stuff, which kind of sucks. I'm gonna put mascara on after I put on my lashes just because my lashes are really long that if I put mascara on first, it just doesn't sit properly on top. My lashes curl up pretty nicely. So um, when I try to put these on, it just like sits all weirdly on top. If you don't have long lashes, I would highly suggest putting mascara on after. Just because it'll ruin your lashes less. Okay, I think we got those on pretty pretty okay. Things are kind of working in my favor. Thank God that like literally never happens. So I've popped on my lashes. Now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Total Temptations Mascara and just coat my lashes and blend them in with the fake ones. I actually do really like this mascara, but I think my absolute favorite is the L'Oreal Telescopic, um, but I ran out of mine. So I'm going to use this one. This one's actually still pretty good. Uh, but it doesn't give me the volume like how L'Oreal's does. So you can leave your eyes to this look if you want. Um, just keep it very, very top heavy. I feel like a lot of celebrities are starting to rock this, especially Nicki Minaj. You see it on her all the time where she has the very top heavy eye makeup and then nothing on the bottom. Um, I absolutely love that look. But for the people that do like it on the bottom, I'm going to show you what you can do for the bottom. I'm going to take my Kiss Intensify Eyeliner in Intense Brown and I'm going to apply this all in my waterline. I'm going to keep everything brown just to keep it on the softer side of things. Again, like you want to look young and like still your age. So I think if you go too intense with the black and stuff like that, it just looks like too much. I think it's black here. Like what is going on? I've got to clean that up. And I'm not going to apply this liner too heavily, just like very lightly into my waterline. Then I'm going to mix this warm brown and this bronzy color and smoke it out at the bottom of my eyes. I'm going to start off with this matte color and smoke it out first and then go in with the bronzy and smoke it out a little bit more. And then go in with the bronzy color and smoke that out. And then I'm going to take this brighter gold and pop that into the inner corner of my eyes just to give a nice highlight. The side of mine is starting to water for some reason. I don't know why. It always does that. Ugh, I absolutely hate it. But I'm gonna show you guys how to clean it up after if it like really waters. Um, for now, what I do is I just leave it. I let it water. I let it do whatever it wants to do. I do the rest of my face and then I'll go back to it at the end, hoping by that time it'll like settle down and it won't be as like you know irritated as much um, and it'll have like watered out all it needs to water out okay so I'm gonna go right into highlighter now um, I'm going to use the NYX cosmetics duochromatic illuminating powder and synthetica another really long ass name um, this is my absolute 
favorite, favorite, favorite highlighter. Anytime I wear this highlighter, people always ask me what I'm wearing. Now, if you are a bit lighter, there are some other amazing colors that they carry with this exact same um, like line. Uh, but there's like one that has like that looks white with like a nice like pinkish undertone to it. This one here is obviously more peachy gold. I'm just gonna apply this to the highest points on my face. So my cheekbone here. Just look how absolutely beautiful this highlight is. Also gonna apply some on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and then my upper lip. Just, I absolutely love this highlighter. I absolutely love this highlighter. I like drench myself in it. Then to contour, I'm gonna use my Kiss NY Pro Contour Kit. This one is in medium, and I'm gonna mix the middle two colors together. And then you're gonna apply the contour right where your cheeks suck in. Make sure this blends in really nicely with the highlighter. So slightly blend it upwards and slightly blend it downwards just so you have that nice gradual transition. You don't want it to look like just contour and highlight. And then I also apply some to my nose. I usually take like the leftover and I just like brush it on the sides of my nose and then right underneath. Just because my nose is a little bit smaller, you can go in with like a more intense like um, highlight on or highlight and contour on your nose by using a smaller brush and really detailing it out. I just like to do this like quick and easy. I also feel like when you're that young and like you know just going to prom, like I don't feel like you really need to be like shape shifting your face. Um, there's nothing wrong with the way you look. I can guarantee you that. So you know, don't try to like go overboard with the makeup and don't try to like try. I don't know, change your face into something it's not. Just make sure you still look like yourself. You're still really young and, and you know, just embrace your own beauty. So I'm not a huge fan of blush, but this is a point where you would put blush on. Um, if you are going to apply blush, just apply it to the apples of your cheeks. Some really great blushes um, I would suggest are from NYX. Uh, I'm not a blush person at all. I never ever ever wear blush. It's just like not me. I just like my highlight and contour. Um, but yeah, I would suggest NYX blushes because I have used them before and I do really like them. And for most people, I would suggest blush just to kind of complete the look. It's just, I don't know why I don't like it on myself. I always use it on my clients, just never on myself. Okay, so for my lips, I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Lip Liner in Vixen. I don't have like a lip liner this color in a drugstore product, so um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go with this. And then I'm gonna top it off with the Maybelline Superstay Liquid Lipstick in Pioneer. I absolutely love these liquid lipsticks. They just do not move out of place. I would suggest putting a primer on underneath. The Nude by Nature one is really good if you are looking for a drugstore one. Um, and yeah, and then apply this on top. If you apply the primer, this is not drying and it stays all day. Like, it does not budge. It's amazing, especially when you're going to prom. Like, you don't wanna be like checking up on your makeup all the time. So I'm just gonna line my lips. A really good trick with lip liner is if you fill it in like lightly, it doesn't need to be like all over and super, you know, perfect. But if your lipstick wears off, at least you have a lip liner underneath. So I chose a darker lip liner just because this red is a little bit too bright for me, so the darkness kind of tones it down. Then I'm gonna go in with my liquid lipstick and just apply this all over. I also love the applicator on this. It's nice and pointed so that you can like really get that smooth line and get to the points of your lips and you know, apply it so precisely. Okay, so this look is pretty much almost done. I'm just gonna fix up this inner corner because as I was telling you guys before, it was like tearing up. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of concealer and conceal that corner and then apply some eyeshadow on top of it. Finally, I'm gonna set my face just so everything stays in place. I'm going to use the Maybelline um, Infallible Setting Spray. Hey guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. And for those of you going to prom, I hope you have an amazing time. You know, dance your butts off and just really enjoy the night. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.